going on YouTube? I want to show you a little bit about engineering today. I want to show you two people that drop videos today that are really exciting. And I want to show you as well my own invention, my own thing that I put together and the engineering that went behind that briefly. But one thing that I want you to pay attention to is the reaction. It's how they respond to things working or not working that's really in my opinion the highlight of these videos and why i follow both of these channels uh you know almost religiously i guess you could say and you know the first one here let me show you dyi perks and this video building the world's first breathing pc he did a good job um he put you know he grabbed something that he had built previously and he implemented a computer and put it put that together and I'm, i'll take it a step further don't worry i'll actually show you a little bit of what this, this looks like this is my homemade bellows system with a rather modern twist and i built it a now, while ago it's cool it works if i you know fast forward it here you're going to see that this thing looks gorgeous i mean he did a great job putting it together and it super bulky it's super big but it works and it functions well now let me show you the highlight i'm going to unmute the video here and show you exactly what i'm talking it about extremely work very well at all with the motion being very secure right. locking them together without so if we actually touching move it right here last? yes yes look at that look at that <laughs> so what's remarkable about this system is how all right if you guys don't understand this he's really excited he's british i mean i don't think he can get more pumped than he was right there so give him some credit he's really excited about what's going on and i, I was excited to see him excited you know but let me take you to another channel which i also happen to love um, this is smart every day. I'm sure all of you have seen it around. It's got almost 10 million, you know, uh, subscribers on YouTube. And you're like, why are you showing us this thing? Like, why does it matter? I'll show you why it matters. Here's the video that he put out today. How does a carburetor work? And he, you know, his dad talked about how, a you know, how the, the whole thing worked and how it was put together. And he went out and he put one together from scratch, a transparent one, so he could actually show people how it functions. And I think it was pretty cool. Um, and the same way that it did with the last one, I want to show you a very tiny piece of the video and show you how that, you know, played this out. This is and a carburetor. And this is a special 3D printed see-through carburetor. And this is a high-speed camera with a macro so lens on it. You yeah, see where this he's, is going. he's got if some ever really cool stuff some going on, lawn care but product. he explains it all. But let's take a look at the reaction. This is the one piece that actually stands out beyond anything else to me. Um, and if we just, oh, this is actually like really, really sweet that he put it together. Again, I feel bad not showing you just a little bit. Look at how gorgeous the editing even is. Like, man, a high-speed camera does go a long, long way. And that's all pretty and all. But if you want to see something exciting, take a look at this. Look at it! It with my hand. He was <laughs> so, so I was running show. Look Dad at his face and just pay attention Grant to his facial expressions the and the way he reacts. Oh! I just hit your mic. It flattens the dropout. It does. It does. It flattens the dropout and it distributes it. Look at it! All right, I know I, I'm sharing something from a you know a channel that has over almost 10 million subscribers. You all have probably seen it, but I want you to focus on the important things here. Did you see their reactions? They're excited about this. They're super thrilled that this thing is working the way they wanted it to. Sometimes even when it doesn't work the the way they wanted to, it's still exciting. It's a matter of putting something together. It's a matter of, you know, doing something for yourself. And I want to show you the project that I put together um, not too long ago. Um, I, and it's it, it's it's a blower. Um, it's it's a blower made from various um, parts that I found laying around. So you have, you know, wood over here. You have a, a handle made out of PVC sprayed um, to, to look like metal. And then you have another piece of PVC on the bottom here, which handles as, as, the, as the, the blower itself here. And for you to turn this on, you basically go. I know. Does that sound stupid? Well, it's not because 
this was a really exciting project. It took me four days to put this together because I did it little by little. Every day, I'd put a piece together, you know, with my son. And it was fun. It was exciting because we're doing something together. And that's what I want to highlight is not the fact that these guys are out there doing all kinds of engineering to make these things work and make these things function. They're teaching other people how these things work. A lot of it is more than just, oh, look, this is how it functions. And it's more than, oh, look, I can build this. No, it's exciting to be able to share. It's exciting to be able to teach something, you know, teach somebody something that they may not know or something they may not have experienced before. And I have the joy of being able to do that on a daily basis. For you guys that don't have kids, you can still do this. Like, don't don't feel like you're, you're out of this club. I didn't have kids for a long time and I was still doing everything that I could to be able to teach others. Um, I work with a lot, you know, students all the time, but I was always looking to teach others because that made me a better person and for the ones of you with kids i'll give you you know um just, just think about this like yeah i spent a couple of bucks i found you know supplies that i had laying around to put this together i could have very very easily gone on to uh you know amazon and picked one of these up for 25 dollars. it's not about your final destination it's about the journey it's how you get there the excitement isn't to say oh i have this no, the exciting part is, hey, we built something together. I guess you can say it's the difference between Lowe's and Home Depot, right? Like, it's, it's you know, you can build it, we can help, or let's build something together. Um, definitely not a plug for either of them. I definitely shop wherever I get the better prices, but um, just think about that. Like, it's about the journey. And the, I can see this uh, overflowing even in his little life because um i'll give you an example we just went to a birthday party not too long ago and the this kid was turning two and it's fun to just ask my son what do you want to give that child for their birthday what gift would you like to buy them and he brought out and said i want to buy him this airplane and it says for kids you know age three um my my own kid plays with this and it was able to put this together way before three and it's not because he's a super genius or anything like that but it's because i've been able to spend time and work on things with him it's about that encouragement right it's about making sure you're building something together that's the big deal here like that's how you grow not only um you know not only the person learning but also yourself as you teach things to other people it forces you to stop and consider things it forces you to stop and say oh wait i'm not going to give somebody the answer i'm going to teach them how to get there themselves i'm going to ask questions i'm going to be inquisitive towards them to say do you think that's the right screw do you think that's how it works why do you think that way so it's it's you know there's a great quote um about making sure that you can be the person you needed when you were younger and that's my goal to be the person that i needed when i was younger i wish i had more of you know an incentive to build things to do things to be creative to be able to explore new avenues and new pursuits um I really do wish I had more of that. So I can either sit in a corner and cry and say, oh, pity me, I didn't have that opportunity. Or I can take a look at everything that I've accomplished and say, oh, that's cool. But the real accomplishment is going to be when I teach somebody else something new. When I'm able to provide something to somebody else. When I'm able to encourage somebody else. When I'm able to give them more. To be able to do for them more than was ever given to me. And I know I don't want to go on and on you know, about this, but I'll put the link to this to this uh, toy on the description below. I know I'm in my 30s, but I, I love putting this thing together. It's pretty fun. And I think the next one, I, I actually say this to show you, is this one right here. Like, come on, who doesn't want to put a truck together? Especially it's when it comes with a crane. That's pretty cool stuff, right? All right, so with that, make sure that you hit that like button because crane trucks they're awesome airplanes are cool too but crane trucks whew. 
Um, but yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. Um, I have a video on the other channel dropping tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be early in the morning because there are things changing. Um, but I appreciate you guys joining me today and I will see you all on the next one. Take care.